Hello everyone and welcome to a very special news round today. I'm Hayley and I'm live outside of Windsor Castle after an extremely historic day for the UK yesterday as His Majesty King Charles III was crowned King. Well, I'll be bringing you everything you need to know about what happened and what's still to come this weekend. everyone, it's Hayley here with a special news round for you. It's Saturday the 7th of May and I'm live outside of Windsor Castle. It's a beautiful calm day today ahead of a massive celebration that's going to be happening later. But let me tell you a bit about where I am because this castle was built by um, Sir William Conqueror and it's where many kings and queens have lived and have been buried, including the famous King Henry VIII and also Queen Elizabeth II. But tonight it will be the scene of a big, big party to celebrate the coronation of King Charles III. There'll be pop stars there like Katy Perry, Ollie Murs, Take That, and lots of other artists and film stars too. They're going to be performing on a very special stage. It's going to be enormous. It's built behind these trees behind me, and we can give you a sneak preview of that right now. There will also be 20,000 very lucky people who have been invited to the show, but don't worry, if you can't be there, then it will be shown on TV so you won't miss a thing. Before that though, local communities, villages and towns will be coming together for what's being called the Big Lunch. It's a place where you can get together with your friends and your family and your neighbours and all eat together. Maybe you're going to one. But it all comes after King Charles III was crowned yesterday in a very special ceremony that hasn't happened for over 70 years. We were there and this is what happened. They came from all over the world. The young and the not so young. To be part of something that hasn't happened for 70 years. Many people waited several hours to see the crowning of a new king. And even a weather forecast of rain wasn't going to put them off. And here he is, King Charles III is behind me in his Jubilee carriage. As you can hear, the crowd is going wild. He's left his house of Buckingham Palace and he's accompanied by the Queen Consort. They'll make the long trip down the mile to Westminster Abbey and the crowds are already cheering as he passes. This is the moment he's waited his whole life for, not knowing when it will happen. Well, today is the day. He's joined by a procession made up of the armed forces and important royal members of staff who accompany him on the long walk to the Abbey. King Charles has arrived to a fanfare of music here at Westminster Abbey. He's joined, of course, by the Queen Consort, Camilla, and he's about to enter into Westminster Abbey wearing a white and red velvet robe this is the moment he's been waiting for for 70 years and you may be able to make out Prince George, his grandson, who is also here, one of the page boys, helping him into Westminster Abbey. And now the coronation officially begins. The people inside the Abbey have all received special invites to come and see this historic ceremony. It includes representatives from the Commonwealth States, as well as presidents and members of royal families from around the world. Nine-year-old Prince George, who's second in line to the throne, also had a part to play in Westminster Abbey. He was joined by other grandchildren of the King and Queen Camilla. After a royal proclamation, King Charles said an oath, which is another word for an important promise. I solemnly promise so to do. And then in the most sacred part of the ceremony, screens were put up so that he could be anointed with a special oil. Then he sat down in the coronation chair, which kings and queens of England have been crowned on since the 13th century. King Charles was dressed in a gold cloak, handed the sovereign orb, coronation ring and scepters before the crowning moment that people had been waiting for. The archbishop placed the crown on the king's head 
and the Westminster Abbey bells rung for this historic moment. God save the King! God save the King! Around the UK, gun salutes were heard from Edinburgh to Belfast. King Charles then took to his official throne and his son, William, knelt before him as the Prince of Wales. Queen Camilla was then also crowned and enthroned next to Charles. And the new King and Queen left the Abbey to cheers and applause. So there you go, the start of a new chapter for the royal family as King Charles and Queen Camilla leave Westminster Abbey now in that gold state coach behind me and they head towards Buckingham Palace, which is where the final part of today's coronation celebrations will take place. one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah, it's pretty exciting seeing like, everyone come together. Um, he's going to come out on the balcony and I'm going to be on my dad's shoulders and wave at him and stuff. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> the crowds are cheering. As you can hear, this is the moment all these people have been waiting for. King Charles III has come out onto the balcony of Buckingham Palace and he's waving at the crowds below, some of whom have been waiting here for hours for this historic moment. Thousands of people, hours of processions, and what a way to finish. The Red Arrows performing their spectacular fly pass to welcome in a new era. Well, it certainly was an historic event, but if you couldn't be there, then we'd love to know what you were up to. And lots of you have been telling us on the Newsroom website just what you have been doing. Sweet Corn has written in to say, I loved the coronation and thought it was amazing that I got to watch this absolutely brilliant part of history. Another Newsrounder was in London and told us it was a long wait outside in the mall, but it was worth it to see the procession and the Golden State coach. And Glittery Pink, Pink Strawberry says, Princess Charlotte and her brothers did outstandingly well especially George for playing a part didn't he as well he had to big, hold that big cloak up for ages they all did really well well it's been great to hear from you keep those comments coming in we always love to hear from you on news round but yesterday kicked off a whole bank holiday weekend of events lots of people are having special lunches around towns villages and cities where you are now de Graft is in one in Yorkshire just for us hi de Graft, how's it going over there Good morning, Hayley. Yes, I'm in a village in Yorkshire called Scorton. And you're right, all across the country, people are keeping the party spirit and the good vibes rolling. Now, one of the ways in which they're doing that is by something called the Big Lunch. The idea is for people to come outside or inside, depending on the weather, to join their family, friends and neighbours to have a bit of food together and continue the community spirit. Now, some of the members of the royal family will be at Big Lunches themselves. Look out for the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate. They will be at a big lunch near you, so keep an eye out and tell us if they show up to yours. But I've got some special guests of my own. Say good morning, guys. Good morning. Now, they are getting ready for the party. Guys, talk me through the decorations here today. Um, well, on the tables, there's um, activities that kids can do. Oh, loads of activities. And you've got quite a bit of bunting as well, haven't you? Yeah, so it's like um, Union Jack themed bunting and then we've got um, like flags all around the windows. Oh, Union Jack bunting. Now we've got our good friend here with the official order of events. Tell us a few things that are happening today. So there are crafts such as make a crown, decorate a biscuit, paper airplanes, face painting, tattoos and more, and games such as throw ease on the king, buzz a game, spat the rat, hook the ring, and there are children's sports. So you've got a lot going on. There's so much going on at this party today. So guys, I want to find out what are you most looking forward to and why? I like baking cakes. And why are you looking forward to baking? Because I like baking with my mommy. Oh, you love baking. And what are you most looking forward to and why? 
I'm looking forward to um, throwing the ears on the king because I didn't do so well at school, so I'm looking to redeem myself today. Uh, it's all about redemption today, and what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to table tennis because I like the sport and it's going to be really fun with my friends. Uh, it's going to be super fun. Now, as well as all the games and activities, there is also going to be a picnic today. Now, what foods are you looking forward to eating at the picnic? Uh, scotch eggs. Oh, scotch eggs. And why the scotch egg? Pastry. Ah, the pastry. And finally, what food are you most looking forward to eating the today? The sausage rolls. The sausage rolls. And what do you love about the sausage rolls? Just the sausage in there. Uh, the ah, uh, you guys are killing it. Now, who here has helped their parents make something? You know, we've got a couple of people who have helped. And we're going to quickly come over to you guys. What did you help your parents with today? Um, well, we helped bake a cake, which was like in the theme of the coronation crown. Ah, uh, you guys have done so much planning today. As you guys have heard today, there is lots of activities going on. And my aim today is to get involved in all the party fun. Guys, are we going to have a good time today? Yeah! We are going to have an absolutely fantastic time today. Now, Hayley, I'm not going to lie to you. All this talk of food has got me super, super hungry. So I'm going to have to dip soon to enjoy some of the food. So look, over to you in London, I've got to eat something. See you, Hayley. Well... Thank you, DeGraft, I think. Keep, keep a cake for me, though. They sound amazing. What a great time you're all having. And lots of you are around the country. You've all been sending in what you're up to over on the Newsround website. Sparkles has written in to say, my family will be going to a street party with my neighbours and we'll have a Victoria sponge cake. And Yellow Banana has told us we've decorated our house outside and inside and my friends are coming round for cakes and sandwiches. Sloth Girl says, my nan and granddad are hosting a garden party for our family and are cooking a feast. Well, whatever you're up to today, please let us know and make sure you have a fantastic time. That's everything from us for the Royal Occasion Weekends, but we will be back on Monday at 7.40 live on CBBC, so make sure you tune in and have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.